From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Julie's story is a branding expert turned DIY queen who takes ordinary things and makes them extraordinary, all while being bougie on a budget. Julie shows people how they can take everyday things they already have and with a little creativity and DIY magic, turn them into home decor, gifts, or upcycle their way to the space of their dreams. With an audience reach of over 300,000 on TikTok, Julie is truly an authority when it comes to DIY. You can follow Julie on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, to name a few. Julie, thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. And so you have a really neat interactive bio on your site that everyone should check out. Um, But for right now, can you give us a quick summary of your background, including what led you to establish yourself as an influencer, blogger, and branding expert? Yeah, so um, back in 2009, I was actually working um, at a company doing graphic design and I was a newly single mom and I found myself not um, not loving my job. So I transitioned out of that and actually built my own company doing branding for other people. Um, my niche was photographers, so I would help um, photographer entrepreneurs build their brands in a way that connected who they were to their ideal client. So I did that for about nine years and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. My clients were incredible and I just really loved it. But there was a certain point that I got to that I just felt like Um, it wasn't as fulfilling as it had been before. Not because of my clients, but just because building designs is a very tedious thing. And I felt like, gosh, like I really wanna do something else. So I had spent nine years building a brand that revolved around helping other people build their brands, which was amazing. Um, But then um, I put that all on pause and got to a place personally where I needed um, to just kind of reconnect to myself. It was just like one of those times I was like, all right, Let's scrap everything. Let's just start from square zero and really um, connect to parts of myself that I forgot that I had neglected. So I started just creating. I kind of woke up every day and I was like, all right, what does my soul need today? How am I going to play? And I just decided to start documenting that. That's really how it began. Like I didn't have this like plan of like, this is what I want to do. I just said, well, what feels good to me and how can I share that? with other people and it turns out that it was really interesting to other people to watch. I'm like, all right, well, why don't you come along and watch me make more? Super cool. And at what point did you realize that you were a DIY influencer? What was your aha moment? Did, was it that 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 one that you did the room for $20 and that took off? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I still don't feel like a DIY influencer. I just feel like, I don't know, I'm just like, a quirky mom who likes to make stuff out of nothing like so I don't I don't feel like I've reached that point yet um I think having so many people watch that particular video and watch me make over my daughter's room I was so incredibly humbling and overwhelming because I just I just wasn't expecting it um I think that there's been so many moments along the way that have really like stood out to me that have made me like realize like oh my gosh what i'm doing is really impacting people so if i were gonna pick a moment it would probably be the times when i get dms from my audience or i get a dm from um, somebody who's watched one of my videos and said oh my gosh like i made geometric shapes out of skewers just like you did and look at them or like they'll send me pictures so i feel like that's when i feel like oh this is this is really really important and humbling when i get that in- interaction from my audience Absolutely. Now, so normally this is a lame question and, and maybe it still is, but when, when I ask, you know, entertainer or, you know, general content creator, but like, where do you get your DIY ideas from? Nor- normally I question is just a throwaway one, but I'm really interested because you're so innovative in, in what you do. Yeah, I think that's actually a great question. And I get that question a lot from my audience. So don't feel alone in wondering that. There's a couple different things that happen in my creative process. Because I'm a creative, it kind of feels like an explosion of like rainbows and glitter everywhere, um, which is amazing. But there is a little bit of structure in it that people might not be aware of. So for instance, if I'm wanting to create something, I will go on Pinterest and I will look up um, ideas. So for instance, if I'm going to DIY a room, 
I will look up, you know, you know, modern or whatever, whatever direction I want to head in. And I will look at and be inspired by other creators. And what normally happens in my process is I'll see if, see something that I want to make and immediately like I'll get an idea of how I could do that, but in a different way or that one like picture will inspire me to do something completely different. So it's, I, I don't know, it's very magical experience of like, I want to do something. I'm going to look at what other people are doing, but then I get my own kind of like glitter in there and then it just becomes something that I wasn't even planning on. So nice, nice. And so, so what has been, you know, a favorite brand collaboration or two to date that you that you've had? Yeah, I um, I've worked with Olay, which that project was really fun. I had so much fun with them and um, did a collaboration with them. One of my favorite brands to work with is Cricut. They have been so extraordinary to work with. Their team is wonderful. They are so supportive of me as a creator, just doing my own thing. Um, they kind of give me a general direction, but they really let me play with the creativity. And that just makes the project so much more fun and interesting as a creator. Cause I really get to add my own personality. And um, I also really think about what my audience would resonate with too. So it feels very free just to make and create. And I think that, um, that it makes uh, working with them so much more interesting and fun and um, also something that my audience really loves the finished project because they can tell I'm excited about it and it's something that I really love and it's also like around my house too so they see it in other videos so I think that's really fun. Wonderful and, and you create a ton of content you have a huge collection of designs ranging from his entire websites to logos and other miscellaneous branding elements. How do you structure your average day so you can get everything done that you need to get done and then still take care of the family and have a little bit of time for yourself if there is a little time for yourself? That's a great question. So I don't do the branding for other people like I used to at this time. So I'm not doing logos and websites anymore. I also used to coach and consult and do, um, you know, give presentations and teach others about branding. So I've set that aside for now, but um, generally in, in my everyday, I'm, I'm looking at a couple different things. There's the very practical side of running a brand, right? So you have the emailing, um, you have, you know, invoicing, that kind of thing. And then you also have have the other side is kind of the face of the brand. So you have creating the actual content, making sure that you're engaged with your audience, which is super important to me because I wouldn't be here without my audience. Like at the end of the day, this is about them. And I'm really grateful that they're along on this journey with me. So I want to make sure that they get time, attention, that their questions are answered. So I kind of structure it depending upon the day. Being a creative, there are days where I feel more creatively energetic. So I can make and create and DIY from eight o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. And then there are some days where I'm not feeling it and that's very normal for me in my creative process. So I try and structure it where I'm giving myself days where I've got those big blocks of creative time. And then on the off days, I'm making sure I'm catching up on emails um, and things like that. I also try and plan out in advance what videos I'm going to make. So I will not, not super strict, but more so in a way that makes sure that I'm listening to my audience. So if they ask me a question that has to do with one of the videos that I can make a video on, I will go back and add that into my schedule to make sure that they're feeling heard and that I'm able to create content for them. So I do it in a way that is very free free flowing that way i'm not set to something that isn't going to work the worst is when you get to a day that you set aside to be creative and you're just not feeling it and that doesn't work for the soul that doesn't work for anybody because your audience can feel like oh she's not really feeling this and i don't want that at all so um, i think it's important at least for me just to be flexible and make sure that there is some kind of plan so it's structure inside of play instead of creativity inside of a plan that's wonderful. Your stuff cracks me up. I, I checked out a few of them. Like, you know, like, I'll give a minute for the extrovert, the extroverts to leave, you know, we'll, we'll just <laughs> stuff cracks me up. I love it. I love it. So what are some of your goals for the next year or so as it pertains to your work as an influencer? So some of my goals would be, I'm really interested in working with particular brands. So I love to work with Target. I love them. I think they're amazing. Um, so I have have certain brands that I'm just like super drawn to them. Like, wow, it would be amazing to, to do something with them. I like to pay attention to, to products or brands that I'm already really excited about. That's, that is definitely the direction that I want to head in as far as 
where I'm going with collaborations, rare crop collaborations, because again, this is about in connecting with my audience. And the more that they get to see me and who I am and my genuineness, um, the more that we're going to be able to build something great together. And so I like to pay attention to those things. So I've always loved Target. I've always loved Starbucks, a huge Apple fan. Um, and then there are also some makeup brands. And I'm just like, I use this every day. Um, and so I would love to work with them in the future. And one of the things that I've actually done in building my brand is I'm not waiting for them to come to me. I am creating the content that I want to make um, just because I want to make it and share and also to show um, how I want to work with brands in the future. So I'm not waiting on Target. Like I'm hoping Target will find me, but we're still doing Target videos. Like we're still doing makeup brand videos. And, and that's what makes it fun and interesting is like I get to play inside of sharing with my audience things that I already really love and things that I'm using. Well, I'm going to make a prediction. They're going to find you sooner rather than later. I hope so. Target was, one of my, Target was one of my first jobs growing up, no lie. And so like, they just have such a special place in my heart and I'm there all the time. Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the influencers link, and then click on the join for free button to sign up. You'll get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. Earn cash quickly by referring your friends and family. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date. That's it for now. We hope to see you soon.